Hello my friends and welcome back to Homewood Spirit. This is your Vladimir speaking. I am here in this amazing nature because this is uh, where I feel really nice. And I would like to share with you from here how I managed to carve a wooden fork so you can make your own one. I will try to do my best to explain you step by step how to make it uh, because um, it's really nice to actually eat our meal with something what, which what we made with our hands especially when is it made from wood so we will go now back to the workshop and then we come back here to this amazing nature to do some final touches on it so take care and enjoy. First I cut out the block of timber with skill saw which speeds up the process. It can be done with a hand saw as well and try to find some straight timber which will not snap and it will be easy to carve. Then I draw the shape of the fork on the block of wood. If you are not confident with drawing I have prepared for you a shape of the fork with dimensions which you can download down below the video and it can help you actually with drawing the fork on a block of wood. To cut out the shape of the fork I really like to use copying saw because it's a great substitute uh, for power tools. You can spin it like this and cut it out with it uh, almost everything and it costs just ten dollars or something. Really really handy tool. I get rid of uh, any excessive timber like here with the crosscut saw and here with the knife. I found out this is quite fast and easy way to get this basic shape. Next step is drawing the side of the fork. Uh, I do it by eye but you can find the shape in the drawings down below the video and download them. Then I repeat the process with cutting out the shape of the fork with the copping saw. Here I make sure that uh, I'm on the, each side I'm even. And as you can see I'm holding, holding the fork as well because it's quite fragile at this moment. And I really need to cut carefully and absolutely not pushing on the saw. And there I have my... Uh, basic shape of the fork. In this case I have figured out that using a knife is faster than using a copying saw. First cut the sides and then the middle part. This is gonna be fastest. And we are almost ready to do some carvings. Just redraw the forks on the block of wood. You can use the drawing I've prepared for you which you can download down below the video. Last cuts with the copping saw and we are ready to go to the nature to do some whittling. So now when I don't need the vise and my workshop, I have decided to go out and finish the fork um, under some tree. I came across this quite huge oak and I feel like this will be the good spot to finish it off. Look at that amazing tree. Wow, it's really big. Okay, let's get back to work. <laughs> first, I round off the tip of the handle. I cut first the sides and then I cut between, which is the easiest way to do it. Uh, here I would like to show you what happens if you don't have a straight grain and uh, there is some kind of knot or some imperfection in the wood and the grain is like wavy like this. So I carve from one direction and then when I see I'm di dipping in the timber and splitting I just turn around and carve against it. And I meet on that knot. Here you can see carving against grain. See how I'm digging into the timber? 
If I carry on this way, the whole handle can actually snap. So what I do is that I change direction like that and I'm carving with the grain again. When I carve the neck of the fork, uh, I'm trying to do small shavings and try to meet them together to maintain smooth finish. So just be really gentle here and careful and you will get there. Then I smoothen the sides of the handle and I also cut a little a bevel on the edge of the handle because I want to get rid of the sharp corners and it also feels way more nicer to actually hold the fork. And there we go, the handle is done. If you want you can sand it, but I don't think it's not necessary. When the handle is ready, we can actually start to carve the fork. What we need to do here is uh, to actually uh, carve the shape of it and uh, make sure that uh, everything is smooth and has the shape we want. Like here in the back for example, I'm making sure everything will be smooth and I will not get splinters in my mouth when I will be using it. Uh, yeah, here I carved the sides. I'm carving with the grain and yeah, I'm kind of like making it ready for the, uh, the actual forks which is going to happen right now. So the actual forks are kind of like a rounded sticks and uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm using tip of my knife and I'm very gently rounding every single one of them. Uh, I'm doing very small shavings and then I'm meeting in that point where I'm doing sort of like a v-cut or starting like sort of like a v-cut and yeah I do really really gentle small shavings like this I have to be a little bit careful here because I can cut myself in the thumb and I repeat this until I get this kind of rounded shape. Sometimes I need to be a little bit more creative and hold the knife and carving in sort of a very interesting position. To save some time it is quite a good idea to do all repetitive cuts at once. So for example in this case I have a same cut on each stick, so I hold it in one position and do the same cut on every single st stick and then when I'm done with it I re-grab it and do repetitive cuts on the other side. Or like here I can cut all four uh, sticks at once. And here is again repeating uh, the same cut while holding it in one position. And the fork is pretty much ready for our first meal. If you want you can sand it. I would use probably something like 240 grit along the grain but uh, I don't find it necessary. Then I like to stain it with some oil. In this case I use flaxseed oil. Uh, some people use mineral oil and I really like tongue oil as well. Flaxseed oil can self-combust so it's not a good idea to leave it like that in nature. So check out the drawings down below the video. There is more plants than just the fork which have helped me along my journey. And have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.